All right, guys, just a quick tutorial here on how to delete your WordPress software and start fresh. This is an old blog we made and I want to make a new website, which is a digital agency website. And I specifically like this domain name <clears throat> because we have AdSense activated on this domain name right here. So it's going to be really useful to use. I just don't want it to show this old content anymore. So to totally wipe your WordPress site, you're going to want to go to your hosting and we're just going to go ahead and clear out the files and then reinstall WordPress. But this can be a little nerve wracking for someone who's never done it before. You don't want to delete like other WordPress sites or make it so you can't create a WordPress blog ever. So that's why we're making the tutorial. Pretty common web designer stuff. So let's go to the cPanel. And then we're going to go to File Manager. I'm going to hit Command F, the Arsha Blows, File Manager. Right now we're going to get the folder for this blog. So again, it's my WordPress blog tutorial.com. And then the first way you would delete a site would be to find it on the left in your home panel. So home forward slash your name. Don't worry about that number four. Yours might look different. Just find your site and you can see there's WordPress stuff in it. So I'm going to show you how to delete adoptleroy.com because we already adopted him. Don't need the website anymore. And it looks like this. Older WordPress theme, obviously pretty janky. So we're just going to go ahead and once you're in this file, go ahead and hit select all. And then I'll just select the files within the folder you're in right here. Then you're going to go ahead and hit delete. And you can skip the trash and confirm. All right, and now when we refresh that site, should not see much at all. So there is nothing. I guess it'd be nice if they had more of a landing page from HostGator. But we're gonna go ahead and change that. We can go back to our cPanel now, and now we're gonna hit Softaculous. WordPress Manager right here. And now we'll just install WordPress again because you have that ability always. WordPress is free. You can install unlimited copies. So click install. And then choose our domain name. So we own adoptleroy.com. All right, and we're going to leave the rest of the stuff blank. Choose the latest version, all the fun stuff we're used to. We can change the admin password. And email. And username, why not? All right, and now let's just click install. So if it says an installation already exists, then that means WordPress hasn't quite figured out that there's nothing here. Let's clear the cache using our clear cache extension from Chrome. So if that issue keeps happening and cPanel thinks there's some files in place for your website, let's just go back to the list of files here on the homepage of, Soft of Softaculous. And we can see it says installation files not found. So we're on the right track. Let's just open the dropdown and come down and then fully uninstall it. And we're going to remove the installation as Softaculous understands it. Okay, so it looks like that was the final step. Let's return to WordPress management. And now we can see that domain name is not on the list. Perfect, we can install it again. Install, and it's still an add-on domain. So there we go. And now we can scroll down and hopefully it hit install for the last time. And it looks like we did it. Great job. So while it's installing, I'll tell you the second way to remove a WordPress install and wipe the website fully. If you don't see your website on the list in cPanel for your home file, maybe you didn't install it through the normal root file in Softaculous, or maybe you installed it through some different way via FTP, or even through a different host. Crazy, I know. If you only have access to log into your site, but you can't find it in the cPanel, we're just gonna go to the dashboard and go to plugins, add new, and we're gonna look up WP reset. All right, this is the preferred plugin to go ahead and wipe your site. Most advanced WordPress reset tool, I'll install it. All 
right and activate it now let's go ahead and see what this beast of a plugin can do I'm a little nervous but I know it'll work because it's highly recommended we're gonna open the reset tools okay and it's a little bit confusing here at the W reset page because there's all these red icons and we don't want the pro tool or the nuclear tool so we're just going to follow along in the middle column and see that they will delete, reset, or destroy post page comments, media, not media files, not current user, that's good, not site title, not site language. They're going to leave everything with a check mark and get rid of everything with the uh, trash. Okay, so let's try it. Let's just go down. We're not in the pro area and we're not in the nuclear area. So we're going to be in site reset here. We're going to choose to reactivate the plugin and not the theme and not the active plugins and type in reset and let's do it. So site has been successfully reset, user GNRI was restored, password unchanged, that's good. And welcome to WordPress. And here we have a fresh copy of WordPress ready to start building. Great job.